Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use credential pass through to access ADLS container. So Databricks does not recommend this uh, option to use or access ADLS. So instead Databricks recommend to use Unity catalog, external credential and external location. But in case uh, if you are not having Unity catalog enabled or you just wanted to see what this feature is, yes you can uh, explore this and this feature is available in databricks uh, premium edition and also your cluster version should be less than uh, 15 okay above 15 uh, this credential pass through does not support so first step you need to have a cluster and you can enable credential pass through in that cluster so go ahead and use this edit option okay so first uh, choose your cluster and if you don't have the cluster you can create the cluster and during the creation itself you can uh, choose that option like uh, enabling uh, credential pass through or if you have already deployed one cluster you can edit that and enable credential pass through just use this edit option then go to this advanced option here you have option okay and then confirm so once it's saved you can go ahead and start your cluster so that's it uh, from the databricks side so from the cluster setting you, what you have to do is just uh, enable this credential pass through so the credential pass through use your user identity to access this storage container so your user means whatever the user you did log into the databricks it use the same id which is available in uh, azure ad to authenticate and uh, access this storage container so let let's go back to the resource group where i have a storage account created okay so this is my adls storage account and let me create a container here so go to the storage account container and uh, create a container with the name training Okay, under the training, so I'm going to create a folder with the name movies. Okay, so sorry, create a directory. Movies, that's it. And uh, I'll upload some file here. Right. So this is a CSV file that uh, we are going to use in our demo. Okay. So if I, you can see some sample data set from here, right? Just edit. This is how your data looks like. You have one. Uh, so the first row as a column type and uh, the remaining are the values okay that's it so again uh, don't look much into this data just uh, uh, test dummy data that's it so we will try to access this container from our databricks workspace so i'm back to my databricks workspace so let me just go to my workspace and create a folder for uh, placing my work let me just create a folder called uh, training so i'll be placing my uh, notebook files inside this training folder okay. and uh, go ahead and create a new notebook then uh, you can rename this to right so make sure you attach to your cluster which is um, credential pass through enabled so this is my cluster and uh, <clears throat> you can attach that so what i'm going to do here is just to use this db utils dot fs dot ls db util command can be used for listing uh, this container so what you have to do here is just uh, go to the storage account okay so under the settings go to the endpoints 
and uh, choose this endpoint right then container so what is the container name this is a container name right container name at use this option abfss column slash slash and inside the container what is the folder you are going to use so inside the container my folder is movies okay so this one we can use for a listing and inside that we have the file okay so the, i'm just taking this one and pasting here so azure blob storage file system this is my container name this is my storage account name and this is my inside directory so db utils can be used for listing that location so definitely this will fail because uh, we may not have permission to read that okay so you will get a permission denied error this is because for this storage container we don't have permission so we can go here and set the permission for that storage account so this is our storage account sorry let's just go to that location go to the storage account and uh, access control so you need a storage blob data reader permission uh, to read that okay so we'll just uh, go there and uh, just use the permission storage blob data reader okay so this will give you the read access on this uh, storage or you can do it at the container level also just make a note of this permission and uh, which user this should be the same user you log in uh, to this account use the same uh, name right then review and assign so i'll be getting the storage blob data reader permission on this um, storage container okay so sometimes it take uh, one or two minutes to update this permission then i will go back here and uh, execute this notebook So now you can see this is executed. So this is able to read or display. So if you want to get this in a fancy way, you can just uh, wrap it inside this display function. So you will get this value. Sorry. That is it. Sorry for the typo display right so this is the file which is available here okay and uh, uh, we will just uh, try to uh, read this csv file and create a data frame for that uh, we can just use this df equal to spark dot read dot format and it's a csv and uh, so we have multiple options that we can add it inside this option infer schema equal to true comma header equal to true then load so what is this location so we will just use this location or you can just uh, use this uh, path till this uh, csv file otherwise this is also fine and we have to use that within the code okay uh, sorry uh, this one i So you can see uh, the df data frame has read this csv file from this location and if you just uh, 
print uh, the schema df dot uh, you can just use print uh, schema it will print uh, the schema of this data frame so film general all this information are there and uh, if you want to display the content display df so the sample data will be displayed here right so this is how you can read from adls container so you just need to enable credential pass through and e your id so whoever is using this your id should have a appropriate permission on this adls container now let's see how to uh, do it, uh, the write operation so we so far we have done a read operation we can just use uh, dbutils fs dot mkdir so this will create a new directory so under uh, this one i'm just using a demi trying to create a demi directory demi01 so this is the container and uh, this is a storage account and it said that i'm going to create a new folder called demi01 but this will fail because uh, we don't have a write uh, access okay so again you got the permission so for this your id need a write access on this so for that again go to the identity and access management add role assignment just assign this permission storage blog data contributor okay so we have assigned data reader which will gives us the read permission so contributor means it will have the right access on this uh, container and uh, choose the name so whatever the name you use right so this is the name which i used in my data bricks and that will have the uh, writer access here so review and assign right so this command has executed true means this demi01 directory has created so if you go to uh, the storage container and uh, training you can see the demi01 so this time we got writer access also this way uh, we can access the storage containers and files from databricks and uh, this is making use of credential paths too so databricks does not recommend to use this option so instead go ahead and use unity catalog external credential and external location so thanks for watching this video we will see in the next video bye